Hello, so today I'm going to try something a little bit different again and that is uh, an area I don't know much about and that's going to Suzhou. So, you know, I'm not exactly an expert on Shanghai, I think we know that, but at least I've been here for a while. Suzhou I don't know at all, so therefore it's going to be much more like exploratory. The second thing is I'm a little bit behind. I'm taking the train and I've had a little bit of a delay, so I'm even taking a bike to the metro station to hopefully save myself just a minute or two. And we will go from Xuzhou Hei, my main station as we know, and then just take line one up through People's Square to the main Shanghai railway station. We could have gone from Shanghai South or Hongqiao, but there's only slow trains here and it's much quicker to get to the Shanghai main station than it is to Hongqiao. This is one of the problems with Shanghai transport is that the stations can be quite big. Uh, I got through security which is behind me over there. I won't video that too much. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm on the board. I'm on platform eight. 7236 is green already. It should be okay as long as there's no issues at the at the gate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We did it! Hooray! Right, now I've got to find carriage 617C. There's the trains we have today. Some slower ones over there. And then I've arrived there. There's number 5. Not so busy on the train today. Hey, Leo. Yeah. Right, from 17C, I might just sit here. See if there's nobody next to me for now. Let's see how things go. So for all the rushing, from what I can see, we've actually still got about three or four minutes. <laughs> actually, we've got, still got five minutes. <laughs> So, Chinese trains are punctual. Just saw some uh, sidings there. So I think we're doing 280, because that's what I'm showing as a max speed, but for some reason my Speedo's not working today, but it is updating on the average, so we, we were doing a maximum of 280. But this is um this is typical second class. We'll use first class on the way back, so just have a look at the general layout of the carriage and then we'll see how different it is when we're in the first class. <laughs> So that train, obviously it's still the G7236, but it's now the 1102 departure from here, uh, the main Suzhou station. So it's not gonna wait around for too long. You can see there's uh, people getting on. Uh, the 7236 platform nine was on its way to Hefei South. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Right, didn't... Uh, interesting didn't uh, didn't even need to check my passport just go 
Right, so map time. As I said earlier, I don't know Suzhou, so I'm exploring, but what we can see is that we've got five lines already, okay, and some of the colours are the other way around to Shanghai, because in Shanghai, one is red and two is green. There's also lines on the map already that are being developed. So you can see you've got line eight, line six, and interestingly, Shanghai Metro 11 is going to link up to S1 into this system in a few months' time. Apparently, they're trialling the line at the moment, but not with any passengers on board. Today, I I will try and do all of the lines, which will be something like uh, this blue one, then one, then two, if I've got those right, then this one, and then the final line three. That should be a lot simpler than Shanghai. Places to go, there's some mountains over here, there's Tongli down in the south, which is a famous uh, water town, but I'm probably going to be going to the old town area, which I believe is around here, and I'll take one of these two stations uh, to get to it. So let's see, let's explore, just see what happens. The uh, ticket machines look very similar to Shanghai. From previous history and during the race against Elliot, I'm pretty sure that my card will work on this system. Suzhou, similar to Shanghai, also has this style of map as well, which is much more geographically accurate on distances, etc., rather than the stylized metro maps that we get normally. So let's try the Shanghai card. Let's get that started. Click on there. The door has opened. We are through. Everything is working correctly. I want line four first. Yeah, this way. Okay. Now, this is where I could easily, easily go wrong. So, because I have no idea where I am, I'm pretty sure I want this side because I want to go south towards the line, the line one junction. Okay. Quite busy. Very similar to, very similar to Shanghai. They have these LED displays like some of the uh, the older lines on Shanghai. We've got all of the railway uh, stations. We're going to be going. We're going to be going three stops, and then getting off at Luqiao, and then taking line one, the green line. Right. So here's the first transfer. We're at Luqiao. So I want to go for line one. I need to make sure I'm going in the right direction. Right, so we're at Lurchow and we want to be going towards Mudu, which is this way. This is a much shorter station than usually in Shanghai. It's obviously a smaller city, less capacity. So this is their main east-west line, line one green. So there we got on at uh, Lurchow and now we're going to be going just uh, two stops to Guangjinnanlu. Oh, that's quicker. Right, Guangjinnanlu, line two. Here we go. And I already know the end station, which is be Jingshanlu, so that I don't get the wrong direction. So we've done four, then one, and we're now about to go South on line two. So we're going to be going from Wenjin Nanlu to Laodonglu. So we're already at Laodonglu station. That was super fast. These stations are quite close together, so it's actually surprising me. Now we've got to go off for line five. You want to be going in the direction of Yang Chengdu. Uh, now this might be Hilka's influence. I'm running a little bit. Oh, this is quite a long, it's quite a long transfer actually. Ah, there's a train here. Now I need to be super careful. Yes, that's my one. Oh. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Oh, okay. This is my first time to drive uh, here. 
Yeah, 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 ye
Three, so it's three R and B, same as uh, Shanghai, pretty much. <laughs> so here we are in Suzhou, and of course, it's a building site because there's uh, always construction going on. But of course, this is probably uh, the Line Six Metro going in, so uh, I cannot complain. This is some temple coming up. I think it's called Shan Miao Temple. There's a little bit inside the temple grounds. Seems quite public space. There's a bit of a market on the street. So this is a former residence of Pan Zhu Yin, and there's quite a few of these kind of places here. I think this is actually a hotel as well. I'll just have a little look in. What, what, what's your canny shack, eh? Yeah. We've got these little gardens like that. It's quite nice. So that's Nanshi Zhe Street. Please excuse my pronunciation. I think we have some waterway coming up. An opera tea house. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. we found the crowd. And some quite sensible small little fire engines to be able to get around the narrow streets. I've seen quite a lot of looms here so that might be traditional. So there's a map of the whole area. I believe we're here. We came in on Nanshi Zhe Street along there and over the bridge and then up to here. Okay. place even to the point of people eating on the wall outside so obviously one of the popular things to do here is to uh, dress up in uh, traditional costumes and get your get your photos taken So cat cafes are a little bit of a fad here in China and the rest of Asia as well. But here's one with a little bit of a difference. You can see the cats are all there on the on the outside. So here we have the queue for the boats and you get the tickets from usually not in the queue in China. You usually get the tickets from a little shop that's kind of next door. So there you can see 40 RMB per person so you share boats and that 40 RMB is about five pounds maybe six dollars five and a half dollars so yes we're on Ping Jang Lu that's the main street name right so as we know we came in here we've gone all the way to the north here I'll go down by Tar this is probably going to be really empty so I'll go all the way down there and then maybe do the bottom bit of Pingjiang down here. Now just a minute or two away from that main street are these back streets, nice and quiet. No shops at all. That's better. There you go off the main street. Ooh. 
There's a quiet a bit. Guys. <laughs> and we are almost done. We are at the end of the street. In fact, the public street is just up there ahead. I was not expecting it to be that busy, but that's great. People are out. Okay, so bye bye to the Pingjiang uh, tourist street. And now I'm going to get back onto the main busy streets and get off to the uh, nearest metro station, which is a line one just up ahead. Here we go. Busy. So, to Wudu. Line one. Right, we're at the railway station. Quite a busy stop. Of course. Wow. And it's uh, it's half past two in the afternoon. It got busy. Let's see how much this is. Two R and B. That was around about three or four stops. So that is cheaper than uh, Shanghai. North entrance in both directions. So this time we've got the G seven double O five. So a bit like Shanghai. We've got a large square, and then we've got the entrance over there. Right, so security was a little bit easier than Shanghai, that's just behind me. And we're looking for 7055 on the board. I can see it there. Third train, 3B. 2B, right, so we'll go off this way. Now, you might think it's busy today, but uh, Chinese railway stations are quite often like this. There's our 3B. Now we're not on, the 7055 isn't on yet. We've got the 7079 currently active. And it just went from red, from green to red. Probably meaning the door is closed or is just okay. There he goes. <laughs> right, okay, we're leaving Suzhou. Uh, 7055 hasn't gone green up there, but uh, it seems like the gates are open. Ah, oh, there we go, we just gone green. So put that on there like that? Okay. 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 Is it? So uh, it's all gone smoothly. I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing the passport check myself now. They used to grab your passport and help you out, but uh, I'm. I'm happy to. I'm happy to do that myself. Right, what trains have we got? There you go. Some old carriages coming in. Seven oh five five. So I've had this problem before. I'm not sure which colour. This train is. So that's first class for you. So 
so yep. that's the uh, first class. I don't really see a massive amount of difference. There's more legroom. The seats are slightly nicer, but um, not really that much <laughs> difference. That's a shame. There's a blocked direct entrance to line one. So again, I got through the gate without having to scan my passport. So that's, that's a lot more convenient. Here we are, line, line one. Right, I'm sure there'll be no issue, but just to check. Yep. Card still works on the Shanghai Metro, of course it does. So you can kind of appreciate how short the Suzhou trains are when you actually see the, the length of the Shanghai ones. Grand Gateway, right. A sign that we are back in Suzhou. I hope that was enjoyable, seeing something a bit different again, uh, Suzhou, and I know that there's plenty, plenty more to do there uh, than the Pingjiang Lu area uh, old town, but uh, it was just a target that I wanted to pick to at least have something. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and um, please join me on the next one. Bye-bye.